Oh man. Shout out to entanglements, man. It's a vibe. I do like it. Though. It's a vibe. This shit hard. <laughs> when you take a little You gotta smang me this shit. <laughs> but you still fucking with me? That's your entanglement there? Nah, that's the smang. You don't remember the smang? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody remember that? What is that? You don't remember the smang? No. It's the smashing. Dang. We back another week in an episode of Be Wild Be the Podcast. <laughs> oh my god. Where was that shit from? It was just like Jersey. I don't know where them Jersey niggas Shore. from. <laughs> I don't know where them niggas yeah, from. Yeah, smang is a smash and bang. Let me smack it, girl. Oh, I think I do. Smash remember. it and bang. And them niggas was the dancing was going. I didn't I'm sorry, I'm sitting down, so I know I look stupid as fuck trying to do this shit. I mean the dance is Please. You would look stupid as fuck Please. standing up doing it. Please don't do it. Please don't stand up. Hey, anymore. Westway tell Kanye, we could turn all this shit off and just get it rocking. <laughs> <laughs> we back another week, another episode. Let's try this again. Another week, another episode will be while we be the podcast. I'm your host, Regular Ja. I'm looking for the name of 80 Proof. And to our left, Kyle's right, we got Pamela Puswalina. Wow. Ew, so gross. You gotta stop introducing Pamela. She a guest. Pam, you gotta introduce yourself. <laughs> What up? <laughs> Pam don't want to do. She 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 kind of likes when we do that shit. She just she it's fake just she fake hates it. Gross. She fake hates it. She look forward to us calling her Pam the Pusswa. I'm gonna still call you. I'm not calling you little fatty no more. Just... Yeah, it's been little fatty for a long time, but it's not a little fatty it's, at all. There's nothing little. So anyway, <laughs> we are back. Entanglements. Her when patience. You, when you entangle these That's sheets, the, it's the only thing little is her patience. <laughs> That shit bold. Entanglement is when you entangle in them sheets. That He's, song is wild as shit. It ain't a relationship, but you still fucking with me. Wow. And I feel like they were kind of low key. They would bob to this shit if it wasn't that. Like she wouldn't like it. What? If it wasn't right. This is my summer anthem. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you right now. Until I get a wife, that is my summer anthem. Man. We're, Nigga Ross had a, had a bar on the song that says, Still I get around. Favorite artist is Tupac. He's so childish. As fuck. <laughs> what the fuck did the Smiths do to Ross? After he said, <laughs> Jaded by her beauty, but her reputation real solid. <laughs> I mean, it is, though. Her reputation real solid. Caught up in the Matrix. Hey, he dropped some bars about Jada here. Ross is fire. That's what Ross does, though. Ross drops bars, nigga. Like, I'm actually just reading the lyrics. Ross. As I'm going around, I'm like, oh, yeah, he really did drop some bars in this shit. Like, it would still be fire if the song won't what it was. If he'd have yeah. bought Low Down Dirty Shame like, in a bar, I'd, that'd have been it. It's a Low Down Dirty it's, Shame, yeah. what you did to... <laughs> That's how you should have started that shit off. <laughs> it's a Low Down Dirty Shame, what you did to my nigga. Uh, what was your last entanglement? I don't think I've been in entanglement. Not on her. Oh, oh, my my twin. I don't dad. get in, I don't get an entanglement. But I didn't so know it was a, an entanglement. No, so we from a different era. We didn't have entanglements. Yeah, situation shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. We had situation shit. Let me tell you. Nah, we were friends with benefits. That's what the original shit was. Friends with benefits. Yeah, that was Cuddy Buddy. I think that's what it was. Oh, uh, that too. But hold on, we still have to dissect more. This nigga said, "I'm on my way." Yeah. I'm going to pull up when he dip. He's all, he always think me and you fucking. If he see me, he going to trip. House with no key. Girl, I know I fucked up your hair. Lay you down and hit it right there. Lay you down and hit it right there. Uh, uh, he might be lying. You know, Jada ain't really got too much hair. She ain't really had hair. No, no she has had she braids, got hair now? though. Remember oh, when she yeah. was in her? She's you know, definitely she had braids. She's getting braids. a little, um, the finger wave shit. Yeah, but I'm saying she still rock braids. He might have had her looking like Big Red after he hung Bird out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that nigga shit was just hanging? Hey, August is the worst side nigga ever. He's hurt, though. And? He's hurt, that's why. That ain't my girl, but I got the key to your crib and your car. Ooh. She that's because my son is your best friend. She don't <laughs> want to... Nah. This is, the, this is the shit, nigga. She don't want to label shit, but she need me in her life. I don't have to label shit. <laughs> They're fitting her life, life, lifestyle. 
We going to keep it popping, shorty. You my little secret. It's not a Just, secret. It's no it's secret. Definitely, he got the approval from Will from what he said, so it's not a secret or was it? I think Will gave it to him. I, I think, think it was so, a, too. He definitely gave him the okay. Mm-hmm. And it's cool. They played that fake hurt shit for the red table talk, which was cool. Damn sure did. Like Everybody said, was like, no, Will was really hurt. Uh, no, no that, nigga's wasn't. A, that nigga's an actor. That's what he's... <laughs> Facts. And on top of that, if they're going to make money off that red table talk for this entanglement shit, which we know it was their, did. their most viewed episode ever. So oh, Mark, Z- he, Mark Zuckerberg gave him some bread for that. So he definitely <laughs> has every right to make they his entanglement text. song. Facts. Because you know that shit is exclusive to Facebook, so I'm sure Mark Zuckerberg got down. Yeah, so let y'all I want to support August in this song. I'm supporting him. I can't support, but he just he just went. Can't he, support snitching, bro. Yeah, he just went against all the side nigga rules. Like, had he had not actually came out with the story beforehand and dropped this song, yeah. I'd have been like, "Yo, rock this song all summer. Go stream that shit. All the good side niggas yeah. in the world, do your thing." But if if we didn't know who that shit was about, the song is fire. I mean, the song fire anyway. But it's just just let that man be great. I ain't like like I said, I'm still going to knock it. I just can't tell other people to do it. <laughs> it is a good side nigga anthem. Shout out to the good side people. Look, side niggas and side bitches make the world go round. Don't let Fast. nobody tell you different. I don't ever want to be. It's crazy, though. This nigga you don't did. have to be, but there there needs to be them in the world. Yeah. My nigga did all that shit just for his album to only go like 46 on the charts. I mean, 46 ain't bad. It's just there was probably only 47 albums on the chart at the time. <laughs> 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 In retrospect, though, out of the top 146 is bad. Just. It's going to get there. For all this publicity it got, it is. He didn't really and the album wasn't trash, though. That's he really didn't really, that's like, what I'm saying. The album wasn't trash. I don't but. think he needed this to promote the album if that's what it was. Maybe he did. Well, this will be on the uh, the deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure this song by itself probably done went platinum. Hey, what if they drop the video and they find somebody who looked just like Jada to play the video? Yo... Ultimate messy, but he wouldn't be the. <laughs> they gonna get Jordan Lucas to play Will. <laughs> <laughs> remember Justin Timberlake did it in Cry Me a River with Britney Spears. He did do, do that shit in Cry Me a River. Yeah, that song was hard as a bitch that too. That song, damn sure was. Hard. I heard Justin Timberlake almost got fucked up. <laughs> that shit though. They said Britney sent some, some goons. Some at this nigga. Yeah, you doing you doing too much? <laughs> Justin a real nigga though. Well. My advice for the week, my early good words of wisdom is play your part, man. If you're a side piece, be a side piece. Wow. Especially if you know you're a side piece. Yeah, Check we might piece. have to get our uh, positive thoughts out because I don't. This, <laughs> this episode is definitely about to go all the way on the yeah, decline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're a side piece, play your play part, man. It's not that hard. I know it you is, feel though. it is. I know feelings get caught up in shit, but you still got to play your part because you know your role. I couldn't be one. I wouldn't want to be one. Yeah, feelings do get caught up. And sometimes you get in situations where you get very embarrassed. You shouldn't be embarrassing nobody, though. See, that's the problem with people. People don't know how to treat their side pieces. People like to treat their side pieces like shit, and then you embarrass your side piece, and then they act out. But you don't do that. But what if your side piece is Kylie Jenner? You definitely shouldn't treat Kylie like shit. That bitch a billionaire. Yeah, but what if your main piece... Allegedly. Allegedly. (laughs) What if your main piece is dead when you treat your side piece like gold? You should not have your main piece and your side piece in the same place. At all. <laughs> While we segue, <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> you should never have your main piece and your side piece in the same Unless your Wilson, side man, let's, unless let's, your let's side piece it. is a really good side piece. Kylie Jen is a really good side piece. I don't know, apparently not. Well yeah, I mean she getting people fucking shot and shit, so let's get into it. <laughs> Again. Cause it's like every time we talk about it, more fucking uh, information comes out about. Why she don't just say what the fuck it is? Just get it over with. Cause we all want to know. We feel better once we know. Cause she was wrong. She didn't want to tell on him. We forget Meg is from fucking Houston, and she from like the trenches. If you shoot me, I don't give a fuck about you at this point. But if the story, so, but if if you the story comes out that it ends up being self defense as to why I shot you. You lose. They said she was beating the dog shit out of Tori. That's probably what he It's not it's funny, but it's funny. But it's not funny. Domestic violence is never funny. No, it's, it's, it's not funny at all. <laughs> but I can see it, though. But that's what, that's that's what, because, you know, I got a fucked up dog sense of humor. So that's what made me laugh, because I'm picturing, <laughs> not the gunshot, none of that shit, but I'm just picturing Meg uh, yeah. dragging this Why nigga. Gonna, it's not that <laughs> It Come is on. that big. It's, she's five, like ten, five eleven. This nigga's five three, five yeah. two. Yeah, but that's, you don't have to do all that. 
<laughs> That's probably what he felt in, in the moment. <laughs> Put me down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You got Tori yoked up like this. His feet kicking off the air. <laughs> no, you know like in movies and shit when like like a little kid try to fight somebody and they put their hand on their head and they just swinging at nothing. The- <laughs> Y'all going to hell. No, nah, it probably looked just like that scene on, uh, what was it, Next Friday? When Cat Williams was in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I am a boy. <laughs> <laughs> But no, so I'm not making light of a man getting shot at all. I'm making light of Tori getting beat up. Um, I'm just saying that I'm, you're better than me because I'm going to laugh at the whole situation. As I play this whole shit in my head out, like, nah, watching Meg bark on him and then probably beat him the fuck up. And then Tori thinking his only reaction is to grab the gun and shoot her in the foot. Like, that whole shit. Well, maybe the me. best friend was beating him up, too. Because she was there, too. They probably were. Y'all know women are. And then on top of that, women. Women definitely love to jump niggas. Yeah, they definitely jump But he was probably, <laughs> and he probably... Well, she didn't have her security because he's so little. That maybe I was going to say, she know, who the fuck needs security against him? That's five like, three. Yeah. yeah, he's probably like, yeah, you know what? I don't even need to be here for this. And then shit happens. It's probably what happened. Yeah, who the fuck needs security against a nigga that's five three? Unless that nigga's like Ti Floyd. The whole situation. Because them niggas is little. Yeah, they're little too. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole situation is terrible, man. But if you're gonna laugh at it, it's it's. Hey man, the point of life is to find humor in the yeah. darkest in the darkest fucking situations. But again, the, the, the but no, her like, getting shot is like that just sucks because you, like, yeah, you, no, you, you can't no talk all this tough shit and gangster shit and like you and you pop a woman. Yeah. That's the only L that is is kind of cool to take. Like, all right, you yeah. you can kind of let you. I ain't saying just let her fuck you up. Yeah, but, but you got to be able to defend yourself. Get the fuck out of there, please. Nothing, I'm, I know he's faster than her. Leave. Like you need to be. <laughs> Like, I know this nigga's faster than her. I know he could have got the fuck away from It was probably a whole lot of her on him. Unless he tried to run and she grabbed the back of his shirt and was like, nigga, get. Pick this nigga up like this. Y'all are so wrong. And I fuck with Tori, though. Pam was like, you beating up on a 12-year-old. <laughs> yes, because as we state almost every episode, Pam and Meg are built damn near exactly identical. So, And I do like short guys. How you look going to your daughter's school and beating up one of the little boys talking crazy? I mean, I know you would, but like, how you yeah. look doing that shit? Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Damn. Because that's what it looked like. Yeah, so they say that's pretty much what happened, though. Well, the show is officially started. This nigga almost died. Real quick. <laughs> the show doesn't start until this nigga almost yeah, died. Yeah, it happens <laughs> once. Damn. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. I'm right. But yeah, I mean, I still think Kylie Jenner shot her. But I still think it was a driver. I've been telling y'all niggas that Tori shot her from the beginning. <laughs> y'all ain't want to believe me. I didn't want to. I seen this shit. I still don't, I I still don't want to believe that Tori actually that Tori, shot, it. Tori shot her. Probably out of self defense. I can't. Again, I. Me being a nigga that if I, I can't get down that shit. It would make sense on why, nah, she like why she's not saying nothing. Yeah. yeah, and why he was never arrested for actually right. shooting her. Yeah, he was just arrested for the gun. Hmm. Now nah, I think it's, it's definitely more to the story. Like just, now that we got the jokes out, and it's more coming. But yeah, now that we got de- the, jokes, <laughs> the jokes, the jokes are gonna fly. <laughs> now that we got the jokes out, it's definitely more to the story. That I mean, if any nigga who's ever been in the streets know. It's a reason why certain information ain't making sense and shit. Yeah. So, and at the end of the day, if Meg doesn't, if she don't cooperate, they don't have a case. But they're going to have to do something about it, like, as far as media goes, because that should have fucked Tori's career up. And Meg's, because, you know, they got all this. uh, I mean, she can get past it, though. She can kind of let this shit just ride out and die, and then she'll be the, I don't want to say the victim, but, you know, they're looking at, like, all the victims. Yeah. But, no, I see a lot of people trying to, like, come at her, like. Can't hold her lick like like going crazy on her. Like that's what I was gonna say. Was it the tequila she was drinking or the dude? Tequila said? will definitely make you do some shit like that. though. Tequila <laughs> will make you fight somebody for sure. I mean, there have been a couple of videos of Meg where she get drunk and a little out of control, but she young. That's what you do. Yeah, when you're drunk, true. Right? It don't matter how yeah, much. Yeah, she's money only like what, like twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. I think. Yeah, she. That's what you do when you're young. You get a little out of control. You get drunk. You learn to control that shit. 
a few bad experiences and you learn to control that shit. True. You gotta think she young, newfound fame. She from she from the fucking. She turned it. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. She let her where she go. And she from Houston. <clears throat> I don't know if you ever been to Houston. But Salute to Houston. Houston jump. I wanna uh, go so bad. Where you going? Where you I love go? Houston. Where you can go next month. They run it. They shit is crazy out there. Yeah. They run we just won't crazy go where that's what where they at. They in Houston. We just won't go to that part. As long as it ain't in Houston strip clubs, I'm okay. Hmm. So when the next trip did? I don't know. That's where I wanted. The to last go. time I went to Texas, though, I had a fucking ball. I've been in Texas in a long time, and then it was. I got family out there, and they keep telling me to come too. I got a T-shirt from Onyx in Dallas. It's like they just gave me a T-shirt. <laughs> that shit was wild. Yo, the the hip hop head and me just went somewhere else. Like, what the fuck was them niggas doing in oh, Dallas? About, oh, <laughs> no, I'm talking about Onyx the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it came and went just as fast. But yeah, I mean, so I mean, we'll see how this shit unfolds. But hopefully, this is our last fucking segment talking about this no, situation. It won't be over anytime soon. No, I think it will. I think we'll probably have whatever the conclusion is, and then. Like I said, they got to do something to address it because it's just. But where is Tory now? In jail. Tory's locked up. He, no, he bonded out. He got bonded out? He bonded okay, out. I didn't know. I didn't he know. Just, he's sitting quiet. His lawyer's yeah. probably telling him, like, hey, shut the or, fuck up. No or, quarantine radio, nigga. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that nothing. or his face is messed up because he got beat up. That is also a very good possibility. It's true. It's, 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 it could be true to that. Yeah. Did we see his we, No, we saw his mugshot, though. Did you? I didn't see his mugshot. I think we saw his mugshot because that's when they released the fact that he was 5'3", 120 pounds. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, sometimes it take a while for the lumps to show up. Yeah. And the bruises, too. I don't know, yo, because that UFC fight with that Russian girl got punched in her shit, that shit was like almost immediately. Yeah. And her shit was... Don't ever hit me that hard. Everybody just keep your hands to yourselves, man. Please. Unless you're doing nasty stuff. Yeah, definitely don't keep your hands to yourself, then. Yeah. Well, shooting somebody in the foot is nasty. It's fuck. <laughs> I mean, maybe he was trying to spare her life. Maybe he, he, maybe he really felt like he was a threat for his life, which Probably, I don't it's get a, it. It's but... a, I mean, if they're... Her friend was in the car too, like I said. So she, they could have been jumping his little ass. Yeah. So the nigga backed out. You know. Oh. Yeah, but the oh, hell no. is, is, no, is. I see it now. I see it. I see it. It's definitely <laughs> fucking him up. Because if he's on the bottom, right? <laughs> he's on the bottom. Listen. The listen, way that she started this shit is already the, wild. Listen. If he's on the bottom. So Tori's the bottom. <laughs> he's, he's, he's laying on his back. He's on his back. And <clears> she on top of him. He on top of her, right? Think about it. Like, <laughs> oh, so he out. pulled a bishop. He pulled it. He pulled the he shit pulled out, the, a out of the boot. That's what I'm saying. And I'm saying that it could have been in his waistband, wherever. But if just she's to on get top him up off me, yeah. yeah, just to get him off, and he shot her in the foot, which would, would make sense. I mean, it would make sense if you think about it. He in pulled the a, foot. He if pulled she, a 380 out of the ACG boot. And then probably hopped in the car like, "Yo, I didn't even want to shoot you. Like, my bad. Let's go to the emergency yeah. room. Let's get the shit but taken if care her of." Her foot was down at this end. Oh, so you think he pulled it out trying to scare her and the shit? Trying to get her off him because if she's on top of him beating him up. He shot her. It's all making sense now. Nah, she, did get, she got in the car with him afterwards, right? So yeah, he, I, to my, he took it because the surveillance shit was from the hospital, right? Yeah, so was, the shit was probably an accident. It was yeah, definitely but, an accident. This, the whole time, all this information that we've been getting probably all wrong. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to say it, that could be a possibility. Yeah. Keep your hands to yourself. I mean, I, I just hope that the situation ain't what they saying it is because I really fuck with Tori. Like, I really fuck with yeah, me. Yeah. And, I mean, Meg is Meg. Like, you can't not fuck with Meg. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I really hope the situation ain't what they say it is. I hope it's more to the story that we just ain't hearing and neither one so of them they, is Have no they canceled Tori? Not yeah. yet. And you know what? That's a very good question because I was just about to make a statement on that. You know, like, stop canceling people because they make mistakes in life, yo. That shit is fucking retarded. The way the world is built now, you can't make a mistake in life and be and still be successful like they'll cancel you for that shit yeah. it's just stupid you so, can make mistakes growing up in life oh so we into your 40s we segue in like a mother into the 40s i like your segue i like your segue game i didn't even know the segue. you go I'm ahead and defend shit. kanye buddy you go ahead and do that kanye. you you go ahead and come to kanye's defense my nigga i'll play devil's advocate fuck that i'll defend kanye what's I up I always look at shit from a different side, though. It ain't even about defending Kanye, like. Not nah, bro, need help. I just, uh, no, nah, he definitely needs help. He definitely needs help. 
Shout out to Dave Chappelle. It doesn't sound like 100 percent crazy though. Some of the shit Yo, that he said, you kind of do. He's think not 100 percent crazy. He's just on yeah. that borderline of being a genius or fucking insane. Yeah, and it's so and crazy he that flips back and forth across that line. That but you know like, what they say? Hold sometimes hold when you tell too much of the truth, it makes you look fucking facts. Like he looks. Like the crazy shit is, and they probably gonna bash me on Twitter or whatever. What he said about Harriet isn't 100 percent. It's not false. No, but he didn't. Okay, he didn't say that he that she took him, took the slave somewhere else to go be slave somewhere else. He said to work, yeah. which they did. They went up north. They got jobs and shit. Like they won't start their own businesses yeah. off top, like straight from slavery. They won't just start in businesses. They was, and I'm not saying this shit to defend Kanye, but I, I understood. Like I liked it. You know what I'm saying? You know what they call slaves today? Employees. Yeah. Like. If you, you just, if you, you just don't work for your, yeah, if you don't work for yourself, <laughs> unfortunately, you're a slave. Yeah, you just have to. I'm a slave, paid. like. <laughs> and and I'm not. You know what I'm saying, like I said, I ain't defending, bro. Like yeah. I know he said some wild, wild shit. Yeah, of course. Dumb yeah. Shit, but it's just he doesn't know how to articulate his words, and I have that same problem a lot. So I kind of see where you're coming from. But it's just like if you don't know how to articulate it, and you on a fucking platform like that, you should probably just not do it. He should have just had somebody write his shit out for him because that shit was bad. Yeah, he can't though because he can't but then, find the words to express it. Yeah, but see else. what Kanye does though. He just says those little tidbits, mm-hmm. like yo, her and Tevin didn't free the slaves. She just took yeah. them to go work for someone, and he just leaves it there. Yeah, like he, he never everything. clarifies like what the fuck he means. <laughs> so it's just like yo. <laughs> like I said, I, I do think Kanye needs help. Yeah, I, nah, I think he teeters that help. borderline of genius and insane. He doesn't want to take the medicine that'll probably keep him on the genius side because it, it'll dull some of his genius. Yeah. So he just he plays it as like he does. I feel like he's trying to get the fuck away. I think he's trying to get away from the Kardashians. To be honest, you think so? I think he's trying to get the fuck out of there. How you feel if your husband go on Twitter and call you a whore? I mean, he ain't call her whore, but he pretty much called her. And whore. he basically accused them I of trying to uh, like the, the get Playboy West to shit. take new pictures when she get older and some some wild shit. Like he, he, I don't know. He went on a crazy fucking rant. I, I wasn't like I didn't think that was bullshit. That shit is kind of too far fetched to just pull that shit out the air somewhere. To me, like <laughs> that shit sounded crazy, and that yeah. motherfucker kept talking about it. Mm-hmm. So it was like the nigga said he yeah. been trying to divorce Kim though in a tweet that he deleted. Yeah, no. So I mean, it, I, I a lot of people too. didn't want to. Um, he also said that Kim fucked Meek. <laughs> I don't, yeah, know I, y'all, I don't know if y'all caught that tweet. <laughs> I seen that shit. But did he get up there and say he did it? Usually, Meek. I think he was like, "Come on, man, it's some bullshit, some shit like that." Yeah, out of all the times that Meek chooses to not tweet, he, he answered with some <laughs> bullshit. But it was one of those niggas like, "Come on, man, me, I wouldn't do that shit." I did that shit. I yeah, that. I remember putting my feet on Eddie Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so like, dog, even on his, I know a lot of people didn't like his last album, but on the Yay shit, it's a song called "Wouldn't Leave." He was like, "Yo." I called her and told her that she could divorce me now, but she he's pretty much saying Kim won't leave him. I believe it, because with the, all this Kanye running for president, she ain't fucking mean, came she out. Gonna make a, a, she gonna make a million dollars. I'm saying, but she hasn't. Out. Since this whole <coughs> running thing came out, I haven't heard her say vote for my husband. He running for president. She, she hasn't know. supported that shit. Nah, she issued a little statement. She issued a statement after he fucking started talking crazy and said he yeah. needs some help. I'm talking about when he nah. said he was running, she didn't say, hey, vote for Kanye. She didn't. No, she didn't. And nah, she's not. She didn't. So if you believe your husband and all that, you should have goddamn been like, hey, vote for Kanye. She I, think it, she- I think if in 2024 Kanye can come out with a serious presidential campaign, I think she'll back him if they're still together. That's way too loud. Thank you, sir. Okay. The crazy shit, that's Pam's mic, not yours. Well, turn it down. I mean, I do like my voice. Pull it closer to your mouth. There you go. Ow. Oh, okay. Don't act like it's your first time. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. Um, Remember when girls you said, I usually don't do this, but okay. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> like, how the fuck you usually don't do this, but this <laughs> top three I've ever <laughs> The top not three the top I've ever three. had. Who are you usually not doing this to? <laughs> well, I couldn't mean that. I but usually, usually, don't, don't, do I usually don't do this, but I'm going to give you the best. Ever. <laughs> I see why you don't normally do this, bitch. <laughs> you gotta save it. it. Cash app you for lunch tomorrow. What do you, want for lunch? <laughs> you know a nigga like it when you get a what do you want for lunch text. <laughs> Damn right. Nigga, at your job, on the do- five minutes mm. before your lunch break, 
I wanted to make sure it was hot when you. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was hot when you went to lunch. I let DoorDash deliver, baby. It's romantic when you get deliveries at work. It is. <laughs> it is. They're like, well, who bought you food? <laughs> but yeah, man. So I mean, you know, just don't be the food nigga. As the answer to that question, no. my food nigga. <laughs> that just means you're kidding. You. We, we definitely do have those. I'm calling for shit else. I've, I've, I've personally seen some chicks that had niggas' name in the phone as free food. Me too. <laughs> y'all got the wickedest names in, in y'all phones. For yeah, my shit is. I got some crazy shit in my phone. Worse and Willie. Like, yeah. they, just, they, they really give niggas <laughs> the most disrespectful nicknames Little in their phone. Darryl. Like, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead David. Y'all niggas are the worst. Women are the worst. Jada men are Meg, just as bad. No, Jada and Meg y'all, approved this week that women are the worst. First of all, when it comes to the names in the phone, y'all put this shit under food names. At least women are more creative. You give you, you know, I mean, we know that. No, I just apl- I applied for that job and Pizza Hut's calling me back for, the, for a follow up interview. That's all. In the young years, of course, I've used to put it under my homeboys' names and just different niggas' names. What? Yeah, what? That's so fucked up. My homeboy had three phone numbers under that shit. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, see, women, women slick, so they'll put the other nigga name under your shit. That be some wild shit. They do that. They I don't p- go through phones. They, so. they, they they put it in. It is a younger year. Nah, they put their side nigga now. name under their like nigga that. name because the nigga ain't gonna never go to his own text thread. Yeah, I know what I said to you. Message. <laughs> Message. Nigga ain't gonna never go to his own text thread. But you should. <laughs> oh, I save all the receipts. I'm not going through phones. I don't give a shit. I don't go through anybody else's phone. Number one, I don't got time for my motherfucking chest to lock up on me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I get a lump in my throat and can't fucking breathe. So I don't go through nobody's phone. Fuck that. I don't need, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. And you're not going through my phone either. Fuck. For what? You, will, you don't trust me? We might as well go ahead and end this shit now. Facts. I mean, you go through a phone. If you already got something in your mind that you're going to find yeah. something in this phone... It's Even if you don't you, find nothing, you're gonna, you're gonna find, find something. something. Period. <laughs> well, if you go not. looking, you're gonna find it. Period. So, so who the fuck is this her you, you were talking to your aunt about? <laughs> it's you, gonna be some you dumbass. I'm talking about your dumbass. They ass. gonna find some shit. Nah, but I be talking to my people about shit that you don't need to fucking know. Yeah, I'm just not going through a phone. Some people are nah. weird. But yeah, so let's let's swing this shit to some positive shit. Did y'all catch the versus battle this week? I liked it. It was, it was like a whole uncle vibe. It's definitely like a, a uncle at the cookout vibe. <laughs> like I liked the, it. the two dope uncles at the yes. cookout. Was just, Facts. Yeah. The yeah, ones, the ones who don't never pronounce nephew correctly is nephew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nephew. I was too busy enjoying. And they ain't song. even from Baltimore. That's just how they pronounce nephew. I did like it. I was too busy enjoying it, so I didn't keep an actual account. Of I didn't keep I account won. either. Number one, nobody won. It's a title. Was, yeah. I don't give a fuck what the blogs and shit say. Like. Uh, I'm going to go back and look at it track for track to see how they went back and forth. But dude, overall, that was just great. I want to know what kind of Kool-Aid DMX had before it started. Oh, He's no. like, I'm going to drink this Kool-Aid. And I was like, oh, I wonder what kind of Kool-Aid that is. You know what the fuck was in. You know what the fuck was in there. No, he doesn't drink or anything anymore. It might have just been regular Kool-Aid. I think that's nah, what I'm saying. I thought, he, he, um, I thought him and Snoop was on the, uh, on the wine, the, 90, the 13 Crimes or whatever. That shit made me want to go get some, too. I don't think he was drinking. There's a 13 Crimes wine? Yeah, and if you put like the fucking, uh, they got an app, and if you put the phone, you know how Nipsey yeah, marathon yeah. shit is. Yeah. So if you put the phone to the shit the same kind of way, it'll <laughs> tell you who the niggas is that committed whatever crime, and it's all true stories. Yeah, that's fine. I like, I, like crimes. Of that. I like crimes too. Where's that at? We're gonna find a bottle. Thirteen crimes. Yeah. Look that up. We'll try to have a bottle by next episode. Hey, just to have it. But no, but no. We'll, we'll buy can we can we yeah. all agree that Snoop is a motherfucking mood though? He is. All the time. <laughs> like, he is. This nigga Snoop is a is a motherfucking twenty four seven mood. That nigga got the coolest flow ever. He was just freestyling cool as a bitch. So yeah. So quick rundown. So we got round one, deep cover versus the Total intro line. to it is dog and hell is hot. I think deep cover wins that one. Deep cover is uh, flat. I don't know. It's cool. To, it's cool to admit yeah. ties. It's cool to admit ties. That's why I said I couldn't choose because a lot of people got it ten ten. That I mean, they I got it ten ten, and they got it like a lot of ties and shit. We just call really it twenty twenty. Everybody won. Fuck it. Yeah, it was good. Round two was who am I versus what's my name. 
What was my name? Probably wasn't that one. It was a growling for me. DMX, what's my name? It was a growling. I ain't gonna front though. DMX is what's my name. Got a lot of clubs shut down with that shit. Yeah. Niggas was fight. Like, you just want to push somebody. Like, yeah, like if if I'm ever gonna kill somebody, I'm probably putting DMX on to motivate me to go yeah, there. To go to his. And you hear DMX running down your street. What I used to do yeah. wild shit. I used to put on Styles. Styles would definitely make you. Like, used to, if I was good, you just watch it. I used to put on styles and just ride. Especially old styles. Like grown styles, he'll just make you beat a nigga up and then explain yeah, no. to him why you had to <laughs> <laughs> explain to him why you had to whoop his ass. Like as a man, like but old styles you ain't giving no explanation to nothing. I like cannabis, the song where he was like talking about oh cool J. Definitely one of my favorites. Oh yeah. But that makes you want to fight. I don't yeah, even know why I was listening to that when I was listening like, to why that, you, but I liked it. You gonna diss me on my own shit? Nah. It wasn't nice, and I was like, wow. He was very mean. <laughs> he was very mean. Round three. Oh, sheesh. I don't have a winner for this, but Gin and Juice versus Get At Me Dog. Gin and Juice. Gin and Juice is a fucking classic. Mm-hmm. Get At Me Dog is a classic too. Yeah, but it's not, he it's wrote not, it. He wrote it for Snoop. But it's not Gin he and Juice. Ju- but it's not Gin right. and Juice classic. You you know what? It's just Gin and Juice, B. Like you can't. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. You right. He's right. I'm a, I'm gonna retract my statement. It's Y'all don't hear me say juice. that much. He's right. It's just, like, that's it's, all I can say. But it's just it's, gin, and it's, juice. It's gin and juice. Uh, Dre Day versus some ex shit. Uh-huh. You know Dre Day. That's the shit. Yeah. 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 I'm going to get at the Dre Day. Yeah. Are we about to see him go through all 20 rounds? We going quickly. We on five. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what this shit is, that's what this shit is for. We ain't got to break down lyrics or nothing. Two of America's most wanted versus stop being greedy. <sighs> Shit, that's a draw. Draw fast. Down for my niggas versus money cash hoes. We already know who wins that. Definitely money cash hoes. Really? I think so. Because you have to text on to get to the next part. I love ho. I love ho, but <clears throat> down for my niggas is a classic. So is money cash hoes, but down for my niggas is. Yes, it depends on where you live too. Yeah, no, no. Down <laughs> for my niggas, pretty much ride everywhere. Mm. Fuck them other niggas because I'm down for my niggas. Like that should go. Yeah, for, but forever. You, like, you, that's what I'm saying. That song is long as fuck. It's like forever yeah. to get this part. Like, bro, round seven. You know you're is, on here. Oh, you're on here too. <laughs> Shit. Round seven is a clear cut. Like niggas, ain't no fun versus come back in one piece. Ain't no fun. Yeah. Like, like it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. That's, that song made running trains cool. Nope. I mean, they were never not cool. Oh, my God. Wait, what? That's what the fuck the song was about. That's what I mean, the, that's what I ain't, mean, no, I, fun, oh, ain't no fun if the homies can't have nothing. If that ain't a train, what the fuck is it? I mean, we don't have to hit it at the same time. Like, yeah, I just, can hit it on Monday. Share. You can hit it on Tuesday. Just share. I don't know. I, just See, I don't know. My, my train definition was, of train so. is different. So I just people, recently found out what that was not too long ago. What, a train? Yeah. So we call we call it running G, More but see, so so my thing is everybody looks at the train different. Like some people trains is like they in there at the same time, but that's a DP. That's that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a, a lot. that's a DP. <laughs> but to to me, a, a train was always I hit it. My homie in the living room. Once I come out the room, he go in the room. See, it's like what? one after yeah, another, yeah. like a train, but not like. So if one is in the mouth and one is in the vagina, what is that? A whore. <laughs> <laughs> that is serious. not no, a... No, no, no. no. I mean, what is that? Um, I mean, I guess technically to some people it would be a threesome. Yeah, some people... It's a threesome. Like, they, yeah. So it doesn't have a name? Possibly. And it has nothing to do with a train? I thought a train was two people at one time. Mm. But then I, then the DP, but not, not in the same hole. Hmm. The now, this is wild. I think in porn in the terms, hole? the DP is in the same hole, or you you could do it in the same hole. Is that what is that called? Two in the same hole. I thought that was like DP one in the is in and one in the pussy. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a train. It's not the same hole. Though. No, but no, what not. is it called for the same hole? I don't like I ain't never seen those those porns. I mean, I never went to go Google the fucking term. <laughs> I never know what that's called. Because <laughs> I never went to see it again. I was like, wow, that's way too much for my life. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm so, cool with my wood touching another nigga's wood. Like, one that, one yeah, in the vagina and one in the asshole is a DP. A train yes. is multiple men, like, lined up coming to fuck But not two at the same yeah, time. Yeah, not two at the same time. No, and the crazy shit, so in Cali, DP means something different. It, it means, like, 
if a nigga violate yeah, you, yeah, you punch yeah, him in the yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But when you so, hear them niggas say that, like it's just like, yo, what? It's, it's a lot of sex terms. Like, yeah, yo. No, it is called a DP. Interesting. To penetrate any hole with two dicks. Did you see her is face? Like she had a. Oh no no! I'm just kidding. It's called. Like a, it's called a double dig. <laughs> to penetrate any hole with two dicks. A double dig. It's called a double dig. But did you see her face? Like she had a scientific like, breakthrough. I got it. Like, yeah. Eureka. You know this is just Pam. <laughs> not, not necessarily two dicks. So, hey, Pam uh, hit us Pam's, with the jinkies. Look at Pam's face. What did you just read, Pam? <laughs> read yeah. That, read Urban Dictionary is gross. Urban Dictionary is the worst. You ever search your name on Urban Dictionary? Yeah, whoa. Like, put dirty and then search your name. name. It's the worst. (laughs) Yo, Urban Dictionary. Whoa, this is not good. This is not what I... Or is it? It's not what you signed up for, is it? (laughs) Anyway. We're not going to read that. That is very... That is not... Oh, my. (laughs) My mother watches this podcast sometimes. So, yeah, I'm not going to do round for round. I'm going to just do the key rounds. That's better. It's quicker, too. Yeah, the one with the guys. I'm like, whoa, whoa, bro. (laughs) <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, threw me off a little bit. Like, um, what? No. <laughs> oh my god! A minimum you of gotta three do the fingers. Goddamn, the the oh. buggy eyes on that shit. Wait, how many? A minimum of three fingers or a fist. What is Whoa. a vegetable or other object? Who this out is, here fisting? This fisting. is what? Oh, absolutely not! Absolutely is- not! Past my level of filth. Yeah, this is whoa. This is um. Got a pretty big hand. If I can put my whole fist in you, I don't. What would you get out of that, though? I wouldn't get shit. Out I of would it. get <laughs> disgusted. That's what I would get. Y'all hold it down. I'll be right back. <laughs> he just leaves us in the middle of talking about fisting. I'm just trying so. Let's to... not have this conversation because <laughs> that's wild. I mean, hey, I, I mean, I get what she would get out of it if she's had that many. Live your life dicks. how you want to live your life. I would understand it. She has that many dicks. They're cool. Yeah, I think just there are plenty of big vaginas out here. That, you know. Yeah, but a fist? Some men have big hands. Unless you're Tory. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Tory got to grab both of Meg's ass sheets like... One hand. There's two hands. Grab one ass Yeah, sheet. he can't just palm that shit like a... Anyway, so, but no, nah, it was a dope battle. I'm trying to imagine you fucking a nigga that's not imagine you fucking a nigga that's hot. <laughs> like, no, I. I, I mean, <laughs> this is this not a wild. wild this is kind of crazy because y'all have been around this ex who was that short. So I don't know. No, you keep all your niggas in line. No, know. you guys have been around them. Y'all have all been around them. I've seen him. He's been to cookouts, and then one where I forgot where we were at one of the cookouts. He almost. Got his little feelings hurt. Because oh. he's like, yeah, little fatty's my girl. And they're like, nigga, her name is Pam. The fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. Like, you don't even know her name, nigga. But he definitely had that that short guy complex. He's so cool. We so cool to this day. But he definitely, like, he's little. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was a great battle. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, apparently, from this battle... So, y'all know the fucking, y'all know how to find the rounds. Y'all can gauge who won on your own fucking time. Facts. But, uh, because I just realized we was only on seven. Yeah. I, 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 see, <laughs> yeah. I realized this at five. I was like, hey, I don't want to do this. I thought it was, I thought, no, at first <laughs> I thought all, it was going to be dope 20. to give, it, give a whole segment to it, but then it, I, they would expect us to do that shit every battle, no, and I'm not trying no. to do that shit every battle. Just for yourself. Like, but, so um, we enjoyed it. Everybody won. So apparently, Keisha Cole called out Ashanti in the middle of that shit. Oh, so that shit is gonna be all right. Who y'all got though? Ashanti is a performer. She's not a singer. But but Ashanti it's not about that stuff. though. You she forget, does you have forget about the fucking verses. Is just about the songs. Ashanti's first album is bananas. You know how much pussy oh, I'm in high got off. I'm not saying that, that fucking it is. Album? Like... No, John. How much pussy did you get off the Ashanti album? Yeah, none. tell us. None. I'm still a virgin. But um. <laughs> Who's fucking to the Ashanti album? <laughs> Facts. Dog, if you pull up to you're a joint different. crib and she's playing Ashanti, you're going to tell her to turn it off and she's throwing you the pussy to this album? Oh, I thought album? you pulled up and you were bumping it. I mean, you did say the whole no, thing sir. was fire, so you... Uh... No, I mean, I was fire. I'm a, I'm a, dog, one thing about it, I'm a music lover, so... Ain't nothing wrong with that. We're just saying. I, you just... I fucks with music, so... You get in the yeah, mood. No, her first album was fire. I'm, say, I'm saying that shit. Yeah, I said that. 
If you ever pull up on me to pick me up, we going out somewhere. Baby, 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 baby. I'm not getting in the fucking no, car. <laughs> Just number know. one, if I the- pull up to pick up a nigga and I'm bumping that and that nigga don't punch me in the face, I'm going to punch him in the face. Because sure he's, like a, he's a little too comfortable. It's like, nah, I'll drive. I'm cool. <laughs> nigga, I won't even pull up bumping the remake with the baby and Ashanti and them with that shit playing. <laughs> you know oh, I like that song. That shit fire, but I'm not pulling up to pick this nigga up playing that shit. Depends on whose part is on. No, the fuck it. <laughs> 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 he might do that shit. <laughs> nah, I just fuck with music, though. And I, I really fuck with R&B anyway, so. But I think. Do you like country? Some of it. I ain't gonna lie. I like some of it. Did y'all talk about Lady Antebellum already? And the blues singer that they stole her name? Mm. No. There's an original. Hold that, because we, yeah. we gonna get to that, because I did not know. Oh, yeah. I did not know. They fucking suck. I won't listen to them anymore, ever in life. So who y'all think, who y'all got? I'm gonna say some shit that was probably gonna get us banned. You do that shit every fucking episode. You're right. White people always steal the shit, man. Yeah. Like, God damn. That's we real, though. Not nothing. all of them are thieves, but yeah, for the most part. Jesus Christ. Yep. But, nah. So, um. <laughs> I don't know. That's. I don't know. I think Ashanti might. I don't know. Because Keisha Cole got some shit, too. It's she's, on, she's on some classic records. Yeah, yeah she is. Do they both have 20, though? No. That we, like, really know? I'm, I'm sure they both have 20 records, because they both have yeah, mad yeah. albums. We get there until... I mean, we all said until we get there, and they start playing shit that we forgot they did. Because like, features and shit count. Damn. Because yeah. you... Keisha Go got some shit with Pop. I'm sure that, that round is probably going to win, even though most people don't know that song. Because they didn't... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pop did a million fucking records, and niggas ain't know who she was when that shit came out. Shanti got shit with Pun. Everybody so, knows how we roll. Yeah. Shanti so, got What's Love. The uh, be Always dope, On Time. Like, I just her own it. shit. I'm going to win just because I get to stare at Shanti and Keisha Cole on camera for about two hours, and I'm okay with that. I'm more than okay with that. Shanti's a beautiful woman. You Keisha know what? is too, but That's going to be the ratchet version of Jill Sky and Erica Badu. And I think we need that. Nah, I ain't going to be the ratchet version, though. No. Not Ratchet, like in the. In but a, depending on not, what song is on and what they what, drink, you know somebody what? might get Ratchet been, I might have used that out of context. I'll say the hood version. Yeah. The, 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 the hood version of that. Ratchet might have been a little out of context. That was that was crazy. Well, one is kind of Ratchet and one isn't. But Keisha's not really that Ratchet, though. Mm. She like she beat people. Motherfucker. Let's, I mean, let's that not talk mean, like Jill Scott and Erica about doing hood and Ratchet, too. <laughs> they be on some soulful vibe shit, but. I mean. She she literally said she's gonna fucking put her sneakers on and grab her rats on the She ready to take the shit to the street. See what I'm saying? So. And Erica said that her fucking incense and uh <laughs> tea can turn into motherfucking <laughs> liquor in Newports real quick. So I don't know, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. Whatever battle comes up next, I think it's gonna be hard I would, to I would have to look up both of their hits and they shit to know who I would go for, but I think it's like as it stands, like right now, I think Ashanti might get it. Yeah, Ashanti. I'm. But I don't think whatever think. whatever round Keisha Cole drops "Dreaming with Jeezy" is gonna win. Yeah, she was fire. I don't see nothing like beating that like in a one song. So I think that's that's just gonna win with a round of ten. Is uh, are Fifty and Ti gonna go? Or no. Why? <laughs> Them niggas. How you gonna get them niggas in the same room together? Give them a little quarantine shield, block that bitch off. Yeah. Put a little 50's thing gonna the break that shit. No, he do be throwing tables and shit. Because so. they don't really got no beef for real. They ain't gonna fuck nobody. Not yeah. their own money up. Yeah. I think. No, they, they ain't like putting fifty in Ja Rule in the same. Niggas room. ain't getting paid for this. Versus somebody, is just for the fans. Nah, it ain't. It's um, for the fans, but somebody getting some money from this nah, shit. Nah, because it's just Instagram Live, so there's no ads or there's no way to. Like that, shit, that shit powered by Ciroc They cut the check That's what I'm saying Somebody's I mean, yeah. spending some money that's, it's, They cut the check On, the, on the back they're, end Yeah I can yeah. see that yeah, they're they're getting, getting, Somebody's getting some you money You know what Now that you said that Cause I realized that Snoop definitely shout out Motherfucking Ciroc a lot and it's now pow- It says it at the bottom Versus powered by Ciroc yeah. And then on Didn't top of that the And they went and, over to Apple And the recap too. is on Revolt And it's on Apple You yeah. can get on Apple too I mean Apple iTunes You can get on that So Whatever. Then I thought about it, Apple nigga. Music. DMX ain't just gonna come do that shit for free. I'm trying to tell y'all, Snoop money would. in that shit. 
X, that nigga has way more important shit to do. I don't know what. You're gonna have to have. I think maybe like the when they before it was taken over by braces, like the Sean Garrett shit. They ain't get no money for that. Move yeah, on and get no money for that nah, shit. I, I don't think but they I, started getting money until they started be, like being in the same room. And I think I wonder whose idea that was because Teddy I think Riley. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. No, because they no, didn't do it. No, Teddy Riley was. Remember that's why the first one didn't happen because Teddy Riley was trying to find a way right. to stream it to his. But website. the next one when they were together was Beanie Man. Because they were right next to each other. Yeah, that's that when was, it started with them being. That's the fir- yeah, that's the yeah, first, that was the first one, one. in the same room. I'm going to have sex during that Ashanti and Keisha Cole battle. It's going to happen. Until some hood shit come on. I'm still going to have harder. sex. You just fuck harder. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> going to have just, sex during that battle. You just, whatever, whatever the beat is, so, you, just, you just I mean, I just feel so bad. I, I like you the, the like, ratchet shit and y'all in here talking about Keisha Cole and Ashanti. I don't need that. I can't fuck to that. I'm not, it's not necessarily about the music for me. It's just about them. I can fuck to whatever's on. So you're imagining <laughs> them instead of the person that you're with at the time? Depending on who the person is that I'm with. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. That, <laughs> you're the dirtiest fuck. That wasn't even going to be my answer. <laughs> <laughs> it depends depend on who the person is I'm with. Yeah, you never imagined fucking somebody else while you was with somebody else? Mm-mm. But yeah, go ahead and tell us about this, um, <laughs> this lady antebellum shit. They changed her name to Lady A. And there's a blues singer. She's been around for a long time. She's 61. Her name is Anita. And she's been Lady A for a long, like, over 30 years. And they just stole her They stole her name. So <clears throat> they contacted her. They had, like, a Zoom meeting or whatever. And they were trying to figure out how she can keep her name. Because she said, once y'all take my name, I'm gone off Twitter, yeah. Instagram. Because once you type in Lady A, you're not going to find me. So... Mm-hmm. What are y'all going to do so that we can coexist with each other? Cut me a check. So she tried that. First, she was like, I don't even want the money. Just put me under your label. And then we can both, we can rock that way. Mm. They didn't say shit. So then she was like, okay, y'all don't want to respond. I'm going to need $10 million. And then that's the thing she listed what it was for. She wasn't trying to be funny. She's like, I need it for this because I got to rebrand myself. Like all these things. I need some money. Mm -hmm. Now they're suing her for her name that she had before they were even fucking born. A black woman, but they didn't change their name until Black Lives Matter and George Floyd and all these things. But to me, it's kind of yeah. fucked up. So, did, why the fuck did they change their name from Lady because, Antebellum? And they because it's a for... Southern racist thing. I was asking my mom about yeah, it, yeah. and it's it it's not good. So they wanted to change it because it has that Southern racist fucked up shit behind it. But I'm saying they didn't think to change that before now. So you knew what it meant before you had that name for your band. Yeah. But then you wait until some shit is going on, and then you change it, which is cool. But you steal a name <clears throat> from a black woman, and then you sue her. Oh some... yeah, no, nah, this shit is wild. Yeah, she they she had a meeting with them, and they like That's went crazy. behind her, and all she's saying was like, "Yo, we can work together. Put me on your label." That was their time, and for everybody to say, "Yo, let's do this. Let's put this black woman on our label. She's a coming, blues singer." Coming yeah, from so... a business standpoint, to me, it sounds like they know that she didn't have her. Copyright or yeah, they did. She didn't have a trademark. She didn't have it, so they feel like they can just go in there and take that. Which, but they losing fans. I like Lady Antebellum. I'm not fucking with them anymore because I don't think they did that the right way. You want to name that bad? Their name. You to change it to anything? Yeah. I see why they changed it though. So Antebellum is the Antebellum period that yeah. happened from 1812 to 18 like. Yeah, it was bad. My mom right was telling me about the it today. Civil War. Yeah, yeah it was right. bad. Right into the Civil War, like on some southern. Yeah, my mom was telling me about Separating it. Separating the north, the north and south and shit. I'm trying to, because this is it is a lot. I'm trying to, fucking, <laughs> I'm trying to uh, get the gist of it. But you can't say you like. So it's before they expanded the nation and shit, the yeah. antebellum period. So why the fuck would they want to? Never mind. Yeah, I'm about to say why the fuck would they want to name themselves that? But That's what she said from the beginning. Like, why did yeah. you name yourself that from the jump? Yeah, and then, they knew what that shit meant. They knew what it. They definitely wild. knew what it meant. They don't make music for everybody for black people. Mm-hmm. Minorities, they make that shit for white people. Let's keep it what it is. I hope she get a real good lawyer. Sorry. She has a lawyer. There's so many people backing her. Like we support the real right. lady A. So if you hashtag real lady A, you look it up, you Google it, you'll find it. And it's yeah, I, it, but, I, I looked her up. But I, it's fucked up because she's. I, I typed in lady A and she. Jay Z, yeah. we need you. Yeah, they're wrong <laughs> for that. They're so wrong for that. Like now you turn around and sue her. Like come on, come on. Hove. And she's a blues singer. Yeah, she's a blues singer. 
They probably stole some of her fucking music too. I, was hey, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. <laughs> if she loses lawsuit, her next album will be fire. Well, oh, she got yeah. some. She's hopefully. gonna be real. And she's also a teacher, by the way. So. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. America don't care who they fuck over. At so, all. With that, so with that being said, fuck but over. But to me, America. I'm like, take that Black Lives Matter shit off your page. Don't talk about how you support oh, yeah, black nah, people nah, and everything, nah. and you stealing from her. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Yeah, fuck them. And then on top of that, she wouldn't even ask you for money. I would say let's boycott them, but niggas don't really listen to them anyway. So. No, they <laughs> have been. People have been. I like their music, like I said. So nah, I, I like know. a few songs, but I don't like. Oh, when the next motherfucking Lady in the Belton album dropping? They ain't fuck no them. Evanescence. Yeah, that's real. The niggas ain't no Paramore. That's a fact. Hello. Fuck. I could use a new Nickelback album. Yeah, niggas know who Paramore and Evanescence is. Niggas don't really know. I don't fuck with a nigga like that. <clears throat> anyway, next subject. We got shit. We got shit to cover. We do. I ain't gonna sit here and talk about these fucking. Lady Antebellum. I'm not gonna fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Fuck you unless you get this lady her shit Give back. Give her shit. Y'all really like that. If, y'all, if y'all really want the motherfucking back community support, get this lady her shit. Or give her her ten million. One to two. No, not even that. I know Put her under your it. fucking label. Put her under your label. Yeah. So anyway, um, Cole dropped two new songs. Did y'all hear? Him? No, I didn't hear. He did not. I think so. It. I heard he promoted him because he said he never read his contract. Right. Yeah. He never read his contract, and uh, luckily this shit kind of panned out for him. <laughs> <laughs> It, it kind of panned out for him, so I think next week we'll talk about that because I want to read a little more into it. Because I just I just found an article today about him not, um, well, last night about him not reading his contract fully. So when, but that, you know, but that happens to a lot of artists. That's what I'm saying. What are, what am I missing? Like you hear about these things, but people before you. Well, you got to think. So if you coming from nothing, from pretty mud. much nothing, yeah. Cause I think he just graduated college. He got all his student loans. He's he's fucking. His fantasy is to be who he is right now. You meet fucking Hove. Hove is like, yo, I'm gonna sign you. Most niggas is not looking at that motherfucking contract. Your dream is coming true. Like most niggas is looking at it like, yo, I cross that bridge when I come to it. And then some niggas is looking at it like, yo, if I take too long, he might change his mind. Mm-hmm. I might not get it. So. Most times, if you hard when somebody put a couple million dollars in your face, you ain't had yeah, a couple million, dollars, couple million in dollars in your face, and then it's just like, yo, you got this, you got this money right here. Most niggas don't know no fucking entertainment lawyers that just hit up to go review a contract for them. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, yo, million dollars in your face. Pam, yo, o- Pam opened the internet on her phone. And her porn started playing. I, 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 don't know if you heard. <laughs> I heard Wesley <laughs> pipes over there. All I heard is yeah. put some more dick in there. Yeah, that's the worst shit ever when you open your phone and your porn star playing. Like, God damn. No, one time, thing. let me tell you, I felt so bad, right? So I was like, I had my Bluetooth hooked up to my speaker in the living room, right? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. And this is my new one that I got for my birthday. So I'm like, oh, this is recent. This is, like, <laughs> this is recent. So the whole time I'm like, got me like a nice little porn. I guess I don't know what you want to call it. But I'm just like looking forward to the beginning because this shit's about to get real. All the time, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with my I can't phone? Hear, I can't, I can't hear, no. hear a fucking thing. No and I'm snare. like, I hear the shit, but I hear it from far away. So like, where is it? The shit, was, Ooh, yeah. the shit was in the fucking living room. And I was like, oh. Was anybody Lord. out there? No, nobody was out oh. there. Thank God. But I was like, what the fuck? And I thought the thing was off. I didn't even know it was on. But I'm like, why the fuck is my thing not working? Yeah. But nobody was there. Thank God. But yeah, so <laughs> back on subject though. But no, so the, the, the main thing is a lot of people like, like he said, that your dream in front of your face, you got that money in front of your face. Most of these niggas don't think, oh, I'm go- I should call a lawyer to review this contract. It's just like, yo, I know I want to rap. I want to be a fucking rapper. My favorite fucking rapper is in front of my <laughs> face trying to sign me right now. They need to have. I don't think he ever said it was a bad contract either. I think he just yeah, he just generated. happened. He just was one of the niggas who didn't read it and lucked up. But I don't think Hove is going to be out here giving out no fucked up contracts. No. I just think they should. He might have in your contract that you got to work for your money. (laughs) Outside of that, I don't think Hove giving out no fucked up contracts. That's crazy. I ain't ain't signing shit. I need to read it first. Dane made millions. Cam made millions. You know the rest. You put a couple million dollars in front of my face. I might sign what I read and shit too. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll retouch that shit next week when we got more time and when I'm 
a little more fucking informed on the entire situation. So let's move on to sports. Well, we back, baby. The well, NBA is partially back. The Lakers lost last night. Like, the are they in that game. bubble thing? Yep. Yeah, oh. it's kind of fire though. Like they got it right. Except they ain't got no bitches in there. But they still touching each other and breathing the same air. But everybody's good. Yeah, they tested like 350 people and they all came back and I get it. So nobody can leave out the bubble? Nope. No. And can't nobody actually come in the bubble. Even though niggas was trying to get them fucking Instagram models in there. <laughs> but, you want to be in a bubble with a bunch of niggas? I'm trying to sneak some bitches yeah, in too? What do you mean? You can, we ta- to- can we test her? Her? Yeah, like, like if, if, they, just, run- if <laughs> they just do that, we good. Can we run her through the test? I'll pay for it. <laughs> Run her through the test. We'll quarantine her until we'll the quarantine test together. comes back. Like, you in here with me for the next month, baby. What do you... So they put, like, NBA not players sitting in, like, all a bubble. Yeah, I think the only person who, who can't play right now is Harden, right? If I'm not mistaken. I, don't, I didn't check on Westbrook's stats. I haven't really looked recently. I'm not I thought Westbrook played last week. night. Or, I mean, the night before last. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Because the Rockets was the first game back, right? The first scrimmage. I know it ain't officially... The season ain't officially restarted, but I feel like it was the Rockets. Don't give me the line. Yeah. I don't watch it, so. I'm just curious about this bubble thing. You trying to be stuck in a bubble with a bunch of other women for three months? No. Pam Pam is, damn bitches. Number one, this is Pam the Piper you talking <laughs> to. My nigga, like, Pam out here piping bitches, so. No, I'm not. Nah, Pam like, is in heaven. Like, if I'm married, my wife got to call me. Or something, like, somebody got to Somebody, yeah. Yeah. So, where are they? What is it? What and is the season the is They built, like, a, what, essentially, right? like, a community. Yeah. And in, in Orlando, and they put everything that they needed in this little community. Like they got fishing and shit for them to do activities. They got money for all that, but then they want to send kids back to school. You can't fucking do that. Right? I mean, this, I mean, is, the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this that. is just one company. This is not the country, so it's a little different. Just saying, I'm, I'm with NBA, you, but it's a little but different. Should be doing that shit for kids to go back to school mm-hmm. too. But yeah, Not NBA a bubble, back. but or some kind wait. of bubble. Niggas can start making money again. Let's toast to that. Let's let's <laughs> let's, start. Toast, let's toast to the parlay. You didn't see me checking my phone? No, I'm <laughs> talking about real, like really, really. Let's toast to the parlay. Mm. Um, baseball back. We'll put that under there too. What? I got some baseball bets in for tonight. We almost didn't have a baseball season. I think they first they, they season actually started today, right? You're a liar. She said what? She didn't do anything with flying balls. You a motherfucker. Wow, why would y'all think that about me? Because we know you. I don't even touch balls. Like doing... sports balls? Oh, any balls. Like... Pam used to play basketball. She sucked, but she used to play back in the day. First of all, I didn't play. My mom wanted me to play, and I was like, um, no, ma'am. <laughs> she took me to like this little AAU <laughs> thing on a Saturday. Pam got crossed the basketball. fuck up and never went back. I was like, oh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not doing this. Oh, y'all thought because I was tall that that's what I was going to do. Yeah, you know. no. Pam got crossed up and was like, yo, I'm never doing this shit again. Mm, sorry, y'all. I got, a, not my thing. I got a sweat. Fuck this. Facts. I was like, oh, y'all doing all this running and shit? Nope. Nah, I'm nope. Good. I'm good. Sports were never my thing. What do you see? mean you don't touch balls? Just don't. Like, the balls that come attached to dick? Any balls. How you not touching balls, man? I really feel disrespected when people lie to my face. Yeah, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> when people lie to my face, I feel really disrespected. She gave me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next yeah. subject. Well, next sports subject. So we got uh, we got two subjects left, and we can get the fuck on. Wait, out of so here. all like softball, not softball, baseball. They're not in a bubble too. No. They stadium big as shit, so I mean, you don't really need to put them in the bubble. I think they just keeping the players separated. They're also majority white. There's a lot of Dominican niggas in baseball. Them niggas Facts. is like the best baseball players ever. I agree, but majority. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. No, that's not the reason why. White people are safe, too. Right. Just like to make jokes. Yeah, just as long as they don't need your land or... Need you to I'm trying to say shit to not get us banned. You didn't see me trying to backpedal a little bit. Nah. Well, I'm gonna try. Nick Cannon. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not all bad. Just, just their, just the bad just ones. Just their ancestors. Yeah, just the bad ones. <laughs> just all their ancestors were. That's all. Today's a new day. We Don't got, worry. We actually got a lot of white people that's standing up with the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, there are a lot down with us. And, yeah. Yeah. But all the ones that's not, fuck you. Um. Yeah. 
So if it makes y'all feel better. All black people aren't good either. Okay. True. Yeah. Cause Kyle's a piece of shit. He ain't shit. He ain't shit. Kyle's a piece of shit. He ain't shit. Them niggas that y'all are worried about? That's me. (laughs) We them niggas. Yeah, we them niggas. (laughs) So, the last two sports, um, (laughs) the last two sports topics. I love them both. What are they? One of them is fucking hilarious and one of them is just a dream come true. So, we got Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. (laughs) Coming September 12th, and Mike Tyson is going to beat the living they shit both gonna out of tired as fuck. I was about to say, imagine these motherfuckers gonna be tired like, and winded. That's like for you to put DMX and Snoop in a room and told them to fight. Like, y'all go sit y'all old asses down somewhere. Yeah, they're gonna be winded. We know y'all both used to be tough back in the I day. I mean, the like, money's gonna be good. People are gonna definitely be to see I'm that. definitely gonna watch, no matter how much shit I talk about. I'm looking at their <laughs> training videos and. Tyson is going to kill Roy Jones. Yeah, he's, they're not even in the same weight class. Who? Yeah, Tyson got him by like 40 pounds. Is, this just wasn't smart. What brought this on? So when Roy Jones... COVID. Yeah, <laughs> Niggas are sitting in the house <laughs> fucking <laughs> bored. But no, nah, so when Tyson uh, and Holyfield put their um, they videos out, oh, somebody funny. asked Roy Jones how he felt. He was like, yo, I like that. He was like, as long as... Don't none of them come for me because I'm always down. So Tyson, I guess, was just like, nigga, I'll beat, you, nigga, I'll beat you the fuck up. <laughs> like, do you not <laughs> see me in this gym? I'm, I'm, I'm going to beat you the I'm fuck up. It. I'm with it. So what's up? So September 12th, they're going to fight in L.A. And it's going to be a bunch of undercards. Like, uh, Nate Robinson is fighting them. What's the white boy from YouTube, man? He be fighting people and shit, too. I don't know. The white boy from YouTube, uh, they be fighting people and shit. Something Paul. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm calling. Do I add <laughs> Something, something, Paul. He do like the funny videos and shit. That's not really that funny, but um, hmm. I think it's Logan Paul or some shit like that. But yeah. I want to watch that. Roy Jones gonna be on Medicaid after this battle, like <laughs> straight Medicaid. They both, they both gonna be done, done. I think Tyson's going to, and and I love Roy. Roy Jones gonna be on Medicaid. But this ain't this, this ain't it. This ain't it, fam. Roy, tell that nigga no. <laughs> They both gonna be winded. I hope they fighting with headgear on. Because <laughs> if these niggas is fighting straight head, Roy Jones ain't Roy Jones no more. He ain't been Roy <laughs> Jones for about ten years. His he, last fight was two years ago. So and he bad. Got, he got knocked out. He might come with the shit. What Against I, Tyson, wait, wasn't he a rapper at one time too? Y- y'all must have forgot. The fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like thinking like, yo, wasn't he a rapper at one time? Oh, you must have forgot. <laughs> he gonna come out to that song. <laughs> <laughs> Body head style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why does everybody want to be a rapper? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's the crazy shit, though. But the fucked up thing is, like, in, when he was rapping, he was in his boxing prime. So you couldn't really... That's when everybody else wants to be a rapper. When you in the prime, other should be like, "Oh yeah, I can be a rapper too." Yeah, no, the fucked up thing can't. though with Roy, yeah, like, like his prime was different from a lot of niggas' primes. And if, if Roy run down on you, like my nigga, is he? You better too? just apologize. Back in them days, I feel like he's short. Nah, Roy five eleven. Tyson five ten. Roy five eleven. Mike Tyson is five ten. Mm-hmm. My kid is taller than Mike Tyson. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. Tyson will beat Jordan the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, I didn't know he was that short. That's a wild shit to say. Tyson will beat your fourteen year old daughter the fuck up. He better be with a box of bullets, bitch, because these just go fly. Oh god. <laughs> On some real shit, I think Jordan do got the strap. She what do might, you mean? She might pop Tyson yeah. for real. But yeah, so um. I got my money on Tyson. I'm sure everybody at this table and everybody fucking watching had their money on why Tyson. Why am I stuck on the fact that they're like short? I don't know why I thought they were like these gigantic people. Tyson has never been Except for that Roy nigga. guy. I don't know why. What fucking Tyson have you been looking at? It's TV angles. Yeah, he looked tall to me. It's TV Tyson angles. looks tall? He did, yeah. And like, you know, muscly. I mean, I guess you tall when everybody you fight is on the fucking ground <laughs> and you looking down at them. I guess. Dang. that That fucking helps. So, um... Definitely betting on Tyson. <laughs> oh, yeah, facts. My money Let me check Tyson. to see if that shit is on the, the street. The other dude now. is going to gonna gonna whip Tyson ass on accident. Damn, he went from Roy Jones to the other dude. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy, yeah. Now, gonna, now, now, Roy is, now, Roy is quick. He's one of the best defensive fighters to ever do this shit. But When is the last time Mike Tyson fought? 2005. He lost. That's why he retired, because he was like, yo. And he disrespected the nigga that beat him. He was like, yo, I shouldn't be losing to this caliber of fighter. He was right, though. He wasn't no, lying. He was definitely right. He wasn't lying. 
But the fact that the nigga just, he pointed at me in my face like y'all shouldn't be losing to niggas like this. But yeah, I got my money on Tyson. Just when is that, Chris? When is that? New Year's Eve? Nah, it's September twelfth. Oh, that's when it is. Here we go. They, it's, it's up there. Man, the fight. Party <laughs> see how disrespectful awesome. this website is. They don't even have this fight listed under regular boxing. They got this shit listed under entertainment as celebrity boxing. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn, these is two world champion boxers that really, like, did this shit. Hey, Bavada is disrespectful as a bitch. <laughs> and they got Tyson winning. Yeah, they are disrespectful. Y'all can sponsor us, though. Let me go ahead and put so, this bet in right now. Bavada, if, if y'all want to sponsor the show, we, we talk of sports a lot. <laughs> we, will, we will definitely. Uh, anyway. So the last sports subject. I got a band for y'all today on Tyson. <laughs> Let's get this shit in now. So the last sports subject. This is for Kyle because I know he's probably he's been laughing the last two days. Your division has uh, your your division has a new edition or an old edition or a new old edition. So the Washington Redskins That's are no longer name. the Washington That's not Redskins. Their, name. their new name is now. The Washington football team. Yeah. They're, they're that shit losers. is so trash. You're going to lose just because of your name. That Have, shit is trash. But don't they suck already? Yeah. I mean, oh. yeah, but the Washington football team, that's disrespectful. The football they might make them win. The season don't Maybe start. the name had like a curse. No, because they got the same fucking... Uh, no, because they won three Super Bowls. So Damn, the season don't start until September, and these niggas are already 0-1. Because that name is fucking <laughs> terrible. Like, that shit is oh. bad. You should just call yourself Washington. Like you should just Washington. Like Washington. All the names you could think of. So when somebody plays, you play against the Washington football team. That's literally their name. The Washington. Oh, they got to fix that. That's not even cute. A little bit. Like they gotta go. That's literally their name. The I don't Washington wanna, football yeah, team. I don't want to hear announcers say that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. So I mean, y'all played them twice. We and once, is, one. and once is gonna be in y'all home. And y'all announcers have to announce these niggas as the Washington football team. I'm going to watch that game on fucking mute. <laughs> like I'm playing a game so with Madden. What the fuck does their logo look like? Just that Washington shit? It's just going to have the players' numbers. Yeah, that's what their numbers. The numbers are just going to have the players' numbers. Oh, God. That's trash. They're not going to sell any merchandise this year. No. Who the fuck would want to buy that shit? My mom. She's a super big Redskins fan. Yeah, she's a Redskins fan. She's not a football team. Fan. I mean, no. If you're a Redskins fan, you should buy that shit because yeah. it's gonna be like a one year type deal. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, oh, she's been buying and, all and her like know, old they might have shit. She can find it. Like she's been yeah. buying it. She got sneakers and jerseys and t-shirts and hats and all that. I mean, shit. my mom, my mom a Redskins fan too. So you can't call that them. That's not can't their name. They're a, a, she's a football team fan. Well, I don't know. Well, Redskins is not offensive because it's not. I mean, it's offensive to the team. I think it's probably even more offensive to, to the Native Americans. Yeah. But it's never, it was never to it, offend them. None of this was ever about that. But it is It was just this. the team itself. <laughs> That's like the cowgirls. Like, niggas call the cowboys the cowgirls. They call us the 40 whiners. I don't know why we don't be whining and shit. I definitely whined at the Super Bowl, but... I know you should. It's here. One day I'm going to learn about sports. Yeah, I definitely should. Like the glory tip. I Don't. had the one. Just learn how to take care of your man while he's watching sports. And root for whatever team uh-huh. your current man roots for. That's all That's all women have to do. Hmm. I don't need you to ask me a thousand questions yeah, I don't about know the nothing game. About it. Like, it's it's just, really sad. When I cheer, you cheer. When I look mad, you just appear to just pretend to be mad. Yeah, Pam is definitely the one that showed up at the Super Bowl parties for the food and liquor. Yep. And the and the commercials, the Super Bowl commercials are great. They've been sucking the last two years, but they have. but I do like the commercials. They're always funny. Well, I didn't see last year's. I seen this year. And the Super Bowl show, you know, in the middle. Yeah, I stopped watching. Yeah, those. we know what the Super Bowl halftime show. Is. Yeah, I like that a lot. She said, "You know, in the middle, the one that's in the middle." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, there's two of them. When's the other one? Actually, there is a pre-performance. Eh, nobody really watches. That yeah, but that can't just let you pick on her. Yes, the fuck you can. What the fuck? What the fuck you can. Oh man. I, I, number one, I'm just kind of happy that she's here, so I'm gonna pick on her anyway. And if she's not here, I'm gonna talk shit about her. So either way, you're not gonna duck this, duck these words. It's actually Kyle that talks the most shit about you. I think I both talk shit, honestly. Damn, I love you. 
Yeah, we love you, but we gonna talk this shit. It's Our fans nice. be talking shit about you too. So they can fucking have it. They don't want no smoke. They they want it. I bet they do want it. <laughs> You guys are out of here. Pam says y'all can have it. No, like, no I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I don't, don't want to do this anymore. But, yeah, so that's it for sports, man. I mean, watching the football team is going to win the... <laughs> I couldn't even get that shit yeah, out. Yeah, to watch the football team. <laughs> they might win a division. So, anyway. They might win the East. The NFC East might win a division. Pam, I'm putting it on you. The next show we we need real good sex talk. Yes, I would like that. I like sex. I like. To Why talk we gotta wait? It. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We had an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, I guess we can. We can make them wait. God damn it. Bring some friends with you. Bring, we can do that. Bring Bay. I will. You know she ain't got no filter though. Hey Bay, I know. Definitely ain't got no filter. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way to to, to, to have the guests and us on camera, so it's not a clusterfuck like it was. That one episode. On a bacon and squeeze we never had. Come squeezing right here. Got in the room. In this area. Jason was hilarious. <laughs> Drunk Jason. <laughs> Drunk Jason is definitely different. It's gone now though, right? He ain't been drinking, right? Unless I read that. He said now. that was by accident. Oh. <laughs> it, this could... That's, I'm just going to leave it there. He said it was by accident and we're going to leave it there. So Pam, uh, we're going to let you lead the charge this week. Positive thoughts for the week. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> that's your, that's your positive thought. Yes. It's a double entendre. You don't no, get I it? I get it. I get it. But that's a wild way to. Uh... <laughs> don't, shoot you. don't shoot yourself in the foot. No, I get it. Don't burn bridges. Don't do a lot of things. That's it. Just don't do a lot of things. Just, you know, think before you act, think before you speak. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> okay. Kyle. Kyle, it's on you, dog. Oh. Uh, I don't even know how to follow that shit up. Busting nuts and have some orgasms, man. Facts. Y'all niggas switch places this week? Yeah, it's fucking summertime, it's yo. Summertime. Like, yeah. yeah. This COVID got shit it's still on lockdown a little bit, so everybody acting like it's not summertime. It's summertime. In the summertime. Start and bopping time. Get out here, start and bop a little bit. If you're single. Yeah, if you're single. I'm single, so. Well, that's Facts. Really. Otherwise, single, just, you gotta be single, single. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just an entanglement. Or a situation ship if you in our age bracket. Nah, we just fucking. Like, it ain't even nothing to hell. <laughs> we be chilling and we be fucking sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> wait till wait till September to get in a relationship when it's not as hot outside. Yeah, that's what happens when it you know in the summertime men like the the little slim whatever, and then when the summer I mean when the wintertime comes, come back to the thick ones where it's warm. At, that's know? exactly how women do. That's not true. Yes, it is. Y'all I'm, don't like being with fat niggas during the summer. I know. I'm a fat nigga. No, I. I I've been a chubby chaser my whole life. I like them all year round. And it's probably because we don't like to go outside during the summer. I'm not going outside at fucking three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not I'm going, definitely not going outside. And, and I, I'm not and on I don't yeah. have my fat nigga towel with me. Like it's the fat if I'm not on vacation, yeah, I'm not going to sit. I gotta have my fat nigga towel. I don't beach. have my fat yeah. nigga towel. I'm always cold, so. But yeah, don't we ask, like bigger men. We do. Don't ask me to come sit on the beach at three o'clock in the afternoon. No, it's fucking hundred degrees outside. I'm yeah, fat. Get in the you water. got like an umbrella. I'm not getting in that fucking. Have you seen that water? Yeah, I'm on vacation. That's a totally different ball game. But not here. So anyway, have some fun. Something's still here. We lit. That's it. We lit. That's a fact. My shit is just stop chasing perfection. Why? You don't want people to chase perfection? You never reach it. Because. At the end of the day, when you chase the perfection, you, you, you pretty much fucked me up. Cause that's oh, what I was sorry. Gonna say. <laughs> but you're not gonna reach different. it because once when, when you want everything to be perfect, nothing is ever gonna be good enough, and you're never gonna be able to seize the like sit and bask in the actual moment because you yeah, don't think real. that. That you know makes sense. Saying? It's always good to elevate and still want more out of whatever the situation is that you're in, or rather, it's your goals or whatever the case, but. 
as far as looking for the perfect time or the perfect place, the perfect this, perfect that, it's not going to happen. So you should stop chasing perfection, start chasing reality, and make results happen that way. Say that shit. Yeah, definitely be successful without being perfect. That's it. And success is just about the journey most like. You know what I'm saying? It's not about perfection. It's about the money to me. But everybody's definition of success yeah. is. It's about the journey. But the money is part of the journey, though. That's what I'm saying. So the money is part of the... What the fuck? We gambling. The gambling is back, okay? Look, we're going to have a whole gambling episode. I might shoot that shit for myself. we we going to talk about this shit because this shit is back. I'm hot today. Did you bet on the Lakers last night? I did not. You a smart nigga because them not. niggas definitely... I definitely seen a couple people. Uh, yeah, because uh, Dallas can play. Out. What I didn't realize was that so many starters and shit were playing last night. But we gonna get to it once the NBA season drop. Yeah, it should be fire. It's gonna be fire. Might fuck around and buy it. We take us all on vacation. We need to go on vacation. We shoot the podcast from somewhere. Nigga, I just want to Portsmouth ain't vacation. Like I want to go somewhere. I like. Portsmouth. Bitch, we going to Williamsburg. This nigga trying to set us up. <laughs> They got some shit in Williamsburg, right, though. Yeah, some racist shit. The fucking Jamestown settlements and shit. This nigga about to... Yeah, I don't know parts of that. I rode through there the other day. Them niggas had the, like, the George Washington clothes on. I don't know what the proper name for them clothes are. But they had like, the <laughs> That's George just Washington how they dress clothes. out there, bitch. No, and they were just walking down the street. They're like... probably doing a reenactment. They, they had masks on. They was walking down the street. Like Two of them was Oh, like... they was on that shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. That's all that, is. that shit was different. I was scared. Well. Let's get out of here, man. Yeah, let's toast up. Yeah, because like I left me out the do. last time, but you'll see it on camera. Just left me hanging. I'm so, just here with I my mean, lonely cut. You want to toast all t- your face oh, like t- toast low next time, there, shit. Toast low. Sorry, man. You'll <laughs> you'll benefit from this gambling money too. We love you. And we out. <laughs>